these championships at the Ministry of Education, we do not take them lightly um, for several reasons. There are some who would like to believe that these championships, they are planned um, as just a season for some people to maybe enjoy some time. And there are different views about what happens during this period. But I want to say from the inception that these championships are well organized and orchestrated because of the benefits that uh, they bring to our students in the Ministry of Education. As a matter of fact, they are inextricably bound to uh, us creating rounded students. You would have heard us talking all the time about um, rounded students, and uh, therefore we are keen on cultivating the old concept of balance. And I think that's a key word in any leadership setting, it's balance. It is a dangerous thing for you to have people who are off balance because eventually they will fall. And so we believe that our children must enjoy um, work and they must enjoy some period of play and at the same time benefit from that uh, period and in the form of the National Athletics uh, Championship. So, as you would know, we just do not wake up one morning and say we're going to have a national championship. We would have started in September observing the various schools with their inter-house athletic championship, which then move into the inter-school and inter-zone championships. I'm proud to inform that in all our districts, the 15 districts that will be participating in these championships, we have concluded the inter-zone championships and we are ready to commence the national championship come the 17th through to the 22nd of November. Our secretariat is in place and presently doing registration from the different districts. As I speak, some districts are uh, being part of the registration process and uh, we believe that we are ready to observe a championship with a difference. I know you would have gotten accustomed to us running very late into Friday evening and then into the night. But let me assure you that this year, we are not going to be going way into Friday night for the closing of the championship, which means that our, our events, as a matter of fact, they are going to be on time. I'm sorry we don't have the managers for the teams here because we need to let them understand if your athletes are not there after two calls, then the events will go with or without you. We expect to see you there on the launch at the opening ceremony, and we expect you to bring a friend along. You know, athletics is now evolving to another level. And for us to reach on par with our competitors in the Caribbean and further afield, it means that Guyana will have to step the pace up. But on behalf of Hits and Jams, Guyana Carnival, and HD Radio, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, it's amazing to see the Ministry of Education collaborating with the Guyana Teachers Union, helping students to realize their full potential as an athlete. Um, not only can sport be seen as an entertainment, but um, it also promotes physical and psychological advantages. And um, I'm anticipating to witness these games in November. Um, and however, in whatever possible way, we would try our best to continue being a sponsor throughout the years. It seemed like only yesterday that we launched the 58th National Schools Championship. Just how time flies. And this year, we are launching the 59th. And I bring greetings from the management and staff of Banks DIH Limited to you, the organizers and competitors of the 59th National Schools Track and Field Cycling and Swimming Championships. Banks DIH is happy to fulfill its corporate social responsibility by partnering with other key stakeholders. But our relationship with the Ministry of Education and the Guyana Teachers Union go from the inception 
of this event.